హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు జ్ఞానతరంగ సిఈటి అండ్ నీట్ కోచింగ్ క్లాసెస్ ఆర్గనైజ్ బై గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ కర్ణాటక యూనివర్సిటీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ శంకరనారాయణ శాస్త్రి ఐఎమ్ బి డీలింగ్ విత్ ద మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ పోర్షన్ సీక్వెన్సెస్ ఇన్ సిరీస్ దిస్ సీక్వెన్స్ ఇన్ సిరీస్ చాప్టర్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ పోర్షన్ సో టుడే ఫస్ట్ లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది సినాప్సిస్ రికార్డింగ్ సీక్వెన్సెస్ ఇన్ సిరీస్ సీక్వెన్స్ అన్ అరేంజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ నంబర్స్ ఏ వన్ ఏ టూ ఏ త్రీ ఎక్సెట్రా అకార్డింగ్ టు సమ్ డెఫినెట్ రూల్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ హియర్ ఏ వన్ ఏ టూ ఏ త్రీ ఎక్సెట్రా ఆర్ కాల్డ్ ద టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సీక్వెన్స్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఎన్ టర్మ్ ఏఎన్ ఈస్ డినోటెడ్ బై టీఎన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ జస్ట్ కన్సిడర్ దిస్ హాఫ్ టూ బై త్రీ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ దిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ హాఫ్ టూ బై త్రీ త్రీ బై ఫోర్ ఫోర్ బై ఫైవ్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఇట్స్ ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ విత్ ఇట్స్ ఎన్ టర్మ్ టీఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్వల్ టు ఎన్ ఓవర్ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ వేర్ ఎన్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు క్యాపిటల్ ఎన్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఎన్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ న్యాచురల్ నంబర్స్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ టీఎన్ ఎస్ టూ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ దే కెన్ వీ కెన్ దెన్ వీ కెన్ రైట్ ది మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సీక్వెన్స్ వెన్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్వల్ టు వన్ యూ గెట్ వన్ వెన్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్వల్ టు టూ యూ గెట్ త్రీ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్వల్ టు త్రీ యూ గెట్ ఫైవ్ సో ద సీక్వెన్స్ ఈజ్ వన్ త్రీ ఫైవ్ సెవెన్ ఎక్సెట్రా సిరీస్ సో బై సీక్వెన్స్ యూ కెన్ గెట్ ఎ సిరీస్ బై యాడింగ్ ద టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సీక్వెన్స్ ఏ వన్ ఏ టూ ఏ త్రీ ఎక్సెట్రా వీ గెట్ ఎ సిరీస్ సిగ్మా ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్వల్ టు వన్ టూ ఇన్ఫినిటీ ఏ వన్ ప్లస్ ఏ టూ ప్లస్ ఏ త్రీ ప్లస్ ఏ ఎన్ ఎక్సెట్రా అప్ టు ఇన్ఫైనెట్ టర్మ్స్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇన్ఫైనెట్ సిరీస్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ లర్న్ రికార్డింగ్ ద ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఇన్ యువర్ హై స్కూల్ ఆల్సో సో వీ ఆర్ జస్ట్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ ద త్రీ ప్రోగ్రెషన్స్ హియర్ ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ ఈజ్ సెట్ టు బి ఎ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ టర్మ్స్ న్యూమెరికలీ ఇంక్రీజ్ ఆర్ డిక్రీజ్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ యాజ్ వి గో ఫ్రమ్ ఫస్ట్ లాస్ట్ టర్మ్ హియర్ వీ స్టడీ త్రీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్స్ అర్థమెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ జమెట్రిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ హార్మోనిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ అర్థమెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఫస్ట్ లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది అర్థమెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ షార్ట్ వీ డినోట్ దిస్ బై ఏపీ ఎన్ ఏపీ ఈజ్ ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ హూస్ టర్మ్స్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ద డిక్రీజ్ బై ఎ ఫిక్స్డ్ నంబర్ కాల్ ద కామన్ డిఫరెన్స్ ద జనరల్ ఏపీ నార్మలీ వీ రైట్ దిస్ యాజ్ ఫస్ట్ టర్మ్ ఏ అండ్ కామన్ డిఫరెన్స్ డి దట్ ఈస్ ఏ ఏ ప్లస్ డి ఏ ప్లస్ టూ డి ఏ ప్లస్ త్రీ డి ఎక్సెట్రా సో ఇన్ ఆల్ అవర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ వీ జస్ట్ టేక్ దిస్ జనరల్ ఏపీ ఫర్ అవర్ ప్రాక్టికల్ పర్పసెస్ ద ఎన్ టర్మ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఏపీ ఈజ్ టీఎన్ ఈజ్ కూడా ఏ ప్లస్ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ ఇంటూ డి సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో డినోటెడ్ బై స్మాల్ ఎల్ దిస్ సమ్ టు ఎన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏపీ ఈజ్ గివన్ బై యు నో దిస్ ఫార్ములా ఎస్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ కూడా ఎన్ బై టూ టూ ఏ ప్లస్ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ ఇంటూ డి ఆర్ ఎస్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ కూడా ఎన్ బై టూ ఇంటూ ఏ ప్లస్ ఎల్ బికాస్ ఎల్ ఈజ్ ఏ ప్లస్ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ ఇంటూ డి యు కెన్ రైట్ ఎస్ ఎన్ ఎస్ ఎన్ బై టూ into a plus l also in an ap if each term is added or subtracted by a fixed number then the resultant is also in ap with the same common difference so this is the beauty of this progression ap if you add and subtract you get back the same another arithmetic progression where the common difference will not be disturbed at all in an ap if each term is multiplied or divided by a fixed number k where k is not equal to 0 then the resultant sequence is also an ap whose common difference gets multiplied or divided by k we may just uh, consider this with an example if you take 13579 which is an ap with uh, common difference 2 if you add 1 we get 2468 etc which is an ap with the same common difference 2 if we subtract 1 from each term we get 0246 etc which is an ap with the common difference 2 if we multiply by 2 we get the ap 2 6 10 14 18 etc of course here the common difference will be disturbed you have to multiply the common difference also by 2 so d is 2 into 2 4 if we divide by 2 we get half 3 by 2 5 by 2 7 by 2 etc which is an ap with d is equal to 2 by 2 because the originally you have the common difference as 2 you have to divide by 2 so the difference common difference here is 1 if a1 a2 a3 etc n are in ap then a1 plus an is equal to a2 plus an minus 1 is equal to a3 plus an minus 2 etc that means in an ap if you add the first and the last term it is the same as the sum of the second and the last but one term 
and the third and the last but two term like that. So, suppose you have 1, 3, 5, 7. So, if you add 1 and 7, you get 8. If you add 3 and 5, you get 8 like that. So, in an AP, that is a property of an AP. So, next one, if you, whenever you need to take three numbers in an AP, better you take them as not A, A plus D, A plus 2D, better if you take A minus D, A, A plus D, because it will be helpful to solve the problems whenever the sum is given. Whenever you have five numbers in AP, you need five numbers in AP, then you can take it as A minus 2D, A, A minus D, A, A plus D, A plus 2D. Suppose you need four numbers in AP, then we actually jump we take the common difference as 2D and not as D, A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D, because when you take the sum, it will be 4A like that. So, next one is if in an AP, if the pth term is uh, TP is equal to Q and the qth term TQ is equal to P, then the P plus Q term TP plus Q is equal to 0. So, this will be helpful in solving certain problems when you uh, find those problems in CET and the rth term is TR is equal to P plus Q minus R. In an AP, if you take the difference of the sum of the n terms with the sum of the n minus 1 terms that is Sn minus Sn minus 1, it is nothing but the nth term Tn. So, Tn is Sn minus Sn minus 1 and the common difference D can also be obtained by taking the sum of the first two terms minus the twice the first term that is S2 minus 2S1. We use some standard results which you know already right from high school, sigma n 1 plus 2 plus 3 etcetera plus n, n into n plus 1 by 2, sigma n square 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square etcetera plus n square, n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6, sigma n cube 1 cube plus 2 cube etcetera plus n cube n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4, sigma 2n minus 1, this is very important of course, when you add some all the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, etc., 2n minus 1, you get n square. On the other hand, if you add the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 2n, you get n into n plus 1. Sigma 1, this is also important, sigma 1, you feel like writing 1, but it is not 1, sigma 1 to n terms, that is 1 plus 1, etc., up to n terms, it is equal to n. So, let us discuss about the multiple choice questions on this AP first. So, one by one. <coughs> Here I have a question. The sum of all two digit natural numbers which leave a remainder 5 when they, when they are divided by 7 is equal to. First of all, the two digit natural numbers are you must start from 10, 10, 11, 12, etc., up to 99. You must go up to 99. So, out of these numbers, the first number which is which uh, leaves the remainder 5 and divided by 7 is 12. So, if you take 12, the next number is 19. If you divide that by 96, because you cannot take 99 as the last number. So, you have to take 96 because it leaves the remainder uh, 5 and divided by 7. Now, if you consider these numbers 12, 19, 26, etc., 96, it is an AP. So, this is an AP with first term 12, A equals 12 and common difference 7 and the last term Tn is equal to 96. First, let us try to find out the last term and the, N, the value of N. Tn is A plus N minus 1 into D, 96 is equal to 12 plus n minus 1 into 7. So, 96 is equal to 12 plus 7 n is equal to 7 from this one. You can find out n, n is 13. So, now use the Sn formula, Sn is n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. You know already the values of n, a and d, substitute those values. Sn is 13 by 2, 2 into 12 plus 13 minus 1 into 7. So, Sn is on simplification, you get it to be 702. So, the option is B. Second question, if the sum of 2n terms of an AP, 2, 5, 8, 11 is equal to the sum of sum to n terms of an AP, 57, 59, 61, 63, then n is equal to. So, you have to consider these two sums, you have to consider S2n and also Sn and equate them. From that, you can calculate the value of n. 
here the value of n will be 11 say s 2 n in the s n formula put uh, n is equal to 2 n s 2 n is 2 n by 2 into 2 into 2 2 a that is 2 into 2 plus 2 n minus 1 into 3 that is equal to n into 6 n plus 1. Let s n dash be the sum of n terms of 57, 59, 61 etcetera. So, this is in a p with a is equal to 57 and d equals 2 therefore, s n dash is n by 2 2 into 57 plus n minus 1 into 2 that is n by 2 into 114 plus 2 n minus 2 or n into n plus 56. But he has given that s 2 n is equal to s n dash s n dash therefore, n into 6 n plus 1 is equal to n into n plus 56. So, if you cancel n on both sides 6 n plus 1 is equal to n plus 56 or n is equal to 11. So, option B is the answer. Third one the sum of n terms of an AP is 2 n plus 3 n square then the rth term is see here he has asked the rth term. So, you must be careful do not uh, try to find out uh, with the S n formula or anything. So, the sum of n terms means S n is equal to 2 n plus 3 n square you take S n minus 1 also. So, if you take S n minus 1 and S n S n is 2 n plus 3 n square and S n minus 1 is 3 n square minus 4 n plus 1. So, in the synopsis I have discussed about this one T n is S n minus S n minus 1. So, T n is equal to 2 n plus 3 n square minus of 3 n square minus 4 n plus 1 subtract 1 by the one one color body one one color 2 n plus 3 n square minus 3 n square plus 4 n is equal to 1 minus 1 I am sorry. So, T n is 6 n minus 1. So, once you know T n, T n ban mele, T r be kadre, n is the large substitute marbata sari, n is equal to, T r is equal to 6 or minus 1. So, the rth term is 6 or minus 1, option is C. If x, y, z are in A p and tan inverse x, tan inverse y, tan inverse z are in also in A p, then you have got 4 options 2 x minus 3 y is equal to 6 z, 6 x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 z, 6 x is equal to 4 y is equal to 3 z and x equals y equals z. So, let us discuss this question. In uh, inverse trigonometry, you have learned the formula tan inverse x plus tan, in, tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y over 1 minus x y or tan inverse x minus tan inverse y is tan inverse x minus y over 1 plus x y. So, let us uh, uh, dis, uh, use that formula tan inverse x tan inverse y and tan inverse z are in A p. Therefore, tan inverse y minus tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse z minus tan inverse y. So, apply that formula tan inverse of y minus x over 1 plus x y is equal to tan inverse of z minus y over 1 plus z y. You have to tan inverse on the third body. You will just remove that tan inverse. Avaga one, y minus x over 1 plus x y is equal to z minus y over 1 plus y, y z barate. But the x y z a p nal idhe enta kutti dhane. Adhan upyos kundre y minus x is equal to z minus y agathe. So, y minus x is equal to z minus y agathe. E equation nal upyos kundre mail gade. Our y minus x z minus y tegith butre 1 plus x y is equal to 1 plus y z barate. 1 1 tegith butre x y is equal to y z or x is equal to z. So, once again you know that from y minus x is equal to z minus y you upyos kundre 2 y is equal to x plus z barate. 2 y is equal to uh, x plus z substitute maadi mail bandhi yala x equal z danta 2 y is equal to z plus z danta kithre 2 y is equal to 2 z so that y is equal to z. So, x equal z and y equal z implies x is equal to y equal z. So, the correct option is D. Fifth one in an AP the P term is q and the P plus q term is 0 and the q term is Maklai ithra problems vandaga adana ni work out maartta kut kundra time tumba vyaashta gathe. Important e nandre C e t nalli nimi ke time management tumma mukhya adhulugu mathematics nta subject nalli time management idhra maatra gathe. Andre nimi ke mane nal logi maadi in tandre moor gante nalli yalla prashna gulam no maartti ra. Arvath nimishi dalli arvath prashna maada tumba kashta. Adik nimo yanaar shortcut methods nta nitko mbeko sapa synapses nta chana jnapko itko nta dhano vyog si dhre fast time maad bodo. If you are fast, you will have to ask the question. So, this is the question paper. If you are fast, you will have to ask the question. 
ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಿಧಾನ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಷ್ಟದ್ದು ಅನ್ಸೀನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ನೀವು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಎರಡು ಎರಡಾದಮೇಲೆ ಮೂರು ಅಂತ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಭಾಳ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೊಂದು ಹತ್ತು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಮೊದಲನೇ ತುಂಬ ಕಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಆವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಸತಿ ಮೊದಲಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಸತಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಸುಲಭವಾದ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಒಂದೊಂದೇ ನೋಡ್ಕೊತ ಬಂದರೆ ಕೆಲವು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಸೆಕೆಂಡು ಮೂವತ್ತು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಅಂಥ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಮುಂಚೆ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಅವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮುಗಿಸಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೌಂಡಿಗೆ ಬರೋದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಷ್ಟವಾಗಿದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಮಾಡೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮೂರನೇ ರೌಂಡು ಉಳಿದಿದ್ದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಮಾಡೋದು ಈ ಥರದ್ದು ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದನ್ನು ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಹಾಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಡಿ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ನೋಡಿ ಇದರೊಳಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಪಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೇ ಮೆರೈಟ್ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯೂ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಆದರೆ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಝೀರೋ ದೇಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಮೆಸ್ಟ್ ಐಟ್ ವೇ ರೈಟ್ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ So, sixth one, if 100 times the 100 term of an AP with non-zero common difference equals 50 times its 50th term, then the 150th term of the AP is 150, option B 100, option C 150 times the 50th term, option D 0. So, here we have to take the AP as A, A plus R, A plus 2R, etc. and then take this uh, 100 term and 50th term. So, let us see how it can be done. So let the AP be A, A plus D, A plus 2D, etc. It is given that 100 into T100 is equal to 50 into T50. Uh, T100 is a formal of A plus N minus 1 into D formal of 100 into A plus 99D is equal to 50 into A plus 49D. So 100 by 50, uh, 50 either 100 is equal to 100. A plus 99D is equal to A plus 49D. So 2 into A plus 99D is equal to A plus 49D. 2A plus 198D minus A minus 49D is equal to 0. So, A plus 149D is equal to 0. If you use that formula, Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D, T150 is A plus 149D is equal to 0. So, 150 plus 1 into 2 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 so carefully work out this one, it's not very difficult, you can just do that. Seventh one, twice the 11th term of an AP is equal to 7 times the 21st term, then its 25th term is also equal to. So here this also, in the same manner, you can just work out, you know these two terms, 2 into T11 is equal to 7 into T21, 2 into A plus 10D is equal to 7 into A plus 20D. So if you simplify, you get uh, A equals minus 24D. Now the 21st term is T25 is equal to A plus 24D. So, 24D plus 24D, that is equal to 0. So, the option is, once again, C, 0. Three numbers are in AP, said that the sum is 18 and the sum of their squares is 158. The greatest number among these is, see, whenever three numbers are given, you must take those three numbers as A minus D, A, A plus D. So, that when you take the sum, D gets cancelled and you get the value of A. So, let us see how it can be done. Let the three numbers in AP be A minus D, A, A plus D. Sum of these numbers is 18. Therefore, A minus D plus A plus A plus 18, A plus D is equal to 18. 3A is equal to 18 or A equals 6. So, sum of the squares of these three numbers is 158. So, A minus D whole square plus A square plus A plus D whole square is 158. Simplify this one, you find that uh, d square is 25 or d is equal to plus or minus 5. So, when d is 5, the three numbers are 1, 6 and 11. When d is minus 5, the three numbers are 11, 6, 1 because you, are, you have taken the three numbers as a minus d, a, a plus d. So, either it is 1, 6, 11 or 11, 6, 1. In any case, the greatest number is 11. So, the best option is 11. The correct option is 11.
ನೋಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಇದು ಭಾಳ ಸುಲಭ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟು ಕ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಮ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಟೆಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟು ಕ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಐದು ಸೆಕೆಂಡು ಬೇಡ ಇಂಥ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಓವರ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹತ್ತನೇ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಟೆಂತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಡಿ ನೋಟ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಇಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ದೆನ್ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಈ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಎ ಪಿ ಬಿ ಎ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಟು ಎನ್ ಬದಲು ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಈಗ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಬೈ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟು ಎ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಟು ಎ ಓರ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಿದೆ ನೌ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದ ರೇಷ್ಯೋ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಯು ನೋ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ನೋ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ದೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಎನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಎನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದೋ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಎ ಟು ಎ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಪಿ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಎ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಎ ಟು ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಎನ್ ಎ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಎ ಟು ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಎ ಟು ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಅಂಡ್
over a1 into an plus 1. But you know that an plus 1 is nothing but a1 plus nd minus a1 over a1 into an plus 1. Here a1 and a1 get cancelled. So, only minus nd in between there are the plus nd in the. So, when d and d get cancelled, n over a1 into an plus 1. So, the answer is n over a into a n plus 1, answer is d. Twelfth question, the sum of n terms of the series 1 over 1 plus root 3, 1 over root 3 plus 5, 1 over root 5 plus 7 plus etcetera is. Makla, ee question again, even nadru, then sum maada kodre, it takes lot of time and uh, it is not uh, that easy also. So, idhikke, ee thara question again, avavul vashtai, ee series nalio one tilkom bide, if sum of n terms or the find the nth term and get your own, be happy. So, I can say, sum of n terms or nth term and get your own. Now, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, substitute and get your own. That is the answer. So, if I just consider this one, if I put n is equal to 1 in the options, let s n be the sum of n terms, put n equals 1 in option d, when n equals 1 option d is half of root 3 minus 1, uh, rationalize mod kondre root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 over 2 into root 3 plus 1 which is 2 over 2 into root 3 plus 1 or 1 over root 3 plus 1 which is the same as yes 1, yes the first term therefore d is the correct option. So, nalak uh, option nalli, nalak ne option no straight away note that 1 over 1 plus root 3 barala, adre you substitute maadi, salpa simplify maadi dhre, you find that it is nothing but 1 over root 3 plus 1. So, sum of n terms and n, so sum of 1 term and yes, 1 first term, so 1 over root 3 plus 1 first term mirada rinda, you can write the option as d, d is the correct option. So, athana, sum to n terms and the bandha gela, salpa n is equal to 1 options and laha ki, you substitute maadi, sulu bhoog barathe. Find the sum of the series etc to n term, 1 over 1 plus 1 square plus 1 to the power of 4, 1 over 1 plus 2 square plus 2 to the power of 4, 1 over 1 plus 3 square plus 3 to the power of 4 etc to n terms. So, once again to n terms and the kele dhane, so you must be very happy. So, put n is equal to 1 in the 4 options, 3 options, first 3 options. See if I put n is equal to 1 in the first option, it gives, gives the value 1 by 3. So, only the second option gives the value 1 by 3 because 1 over 1 plus 1 square plus 1 to the power of 4 is also 1 by 3. In the second option, if you put n is equal to 1, you get uh, 1 into 2 or 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 1 by 3. In other options, you are not getting 1 by 3. So, the best answer is B, you can say, but that none is there. Therefore, we must be very careful. Let us try for n equals 2 also because uh, none is there. It may be true for n is equal to 1 only. So, let us try for n equals 2 also. When n equals 2, option b is 2 into 2 plus 1 over 2 into 2 square plus 2 plus 1 which is 3 by 7. And uh, if you add the first and second terms in the given series, 1 over 1 plus 1 square plus 4, 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 or 2 over 1 plus 2 square plus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 1 by 3 plus 2 by 21, 9 by 21 is equal to 3 by 7. So, the answer is B. So, you will solve 1 over 1 plus 1 square plus 1 to the power of 4 is 4 and be the day, then solve the goal. So, the answer is B. 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 So, the answer verified for n equals 1 and n equals 2. The sum of the series 1 into 1, 14th question 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 3 plus 5 etcetera, 10 into 1 plus 3 plus 5 etcetera, 19 is. Makla, illi, nana, bada important in andre, ee odd numbers idhi alla, if you take the sum of two odd numbers, first two odd numbers, 1 and 3, 1 plus 3 is 2 square barathe, 3 odd numbers, 1 plus 3 plus 5, it is 3 square barathe. So, athara, adhan upyos kondana, adhan upyos kondre, you can write each term in a different manner. See, the first term is uh, 1, second is 2 into 1 plus 3, third is 3 into 1 plus 3 plus 5, etcetera. 
So, I can write it as 1 into 1 square, 2 into 1 plus 3 is 2 square, 3 into 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 3 square and the last one 10 into 1 plus 3 plus 5 etc. 19 is 10 square. As I told you, sum of 10 odd numbers, first 10 odd numbers, it is 10 square. Now, if you multiply, you get 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 10 cube. So, a different one sigma n cube formula you can just apply. Sigma n cube is n square into n plus 1 whole square over 4. Here, you get 10 square into 10 plus 1 whole square by 4. So, it is 25 into 11 square, which is 25 into 121, it is 3025. So, the option is D. So, you can just uh, use that technique. Do not try to multiply or find out the n term in a different manner. So, it reduces to 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 10 cube and you can easily do that one. Fifteenth one, the sum of the first nine terms of the series 1 cube by 1, 1 cube plus 2 cube over 1 plus 3, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube over 1 plus 3 plus 5 etc. is. See, whenever you ask n terms, it is easy because n will be there in the options and can substitute. But here, it is not that easy because he has asked the 9 term. You have to just find out the sum of the 9 terms. So, let us find the sum of the n terms, Sn first. So, in order to find Sn, I find Tn first. Tn is 1, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube etc. n cube over 1 plus 3 plus 5 etc. plus 2n minus 1. So, Tn is uh, apply the formula n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 and you know that uh, sum of n odd numbers, first n odd numbers is n square. So, it is also 1 plus 3 plus 5 etc. 2n minus 1 is n square. So, it is 1 by 4 into n plus 1 whole square. So, 1 by 4 into n square plus 2n plus 1. So, Sn is sigma Tn, 1 by 4 sigma of n square plus 2n plus 1. So, by illi yochanavad is reyak bari beko, 1 by 4 into sigma n square, sigma plus sigma 2n plus sigma 1. You know the formula for sigma n square, other substitute maadi, 1 by 4 into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 over 6 barate. You know the formula for sigma n, so 2 into n into n plus 1 over 2 and remember sigma 1 is n. So, put n is equal to 9, then you get S9 is equal to 1 by 4, 9 into 10 into 19 by 6 plus 9 into 10 plus 9. So, on simplification, you find that S9 is nothing but 1 by 4 into 384, that is 96. So, sum of first 9 terms of the series is 96. Careful again, first to Tn candidate koli, amele Sn candidate koli, Sn nige a sigma formula na sariya gupyogse, then you can easily obtain the sum as 96. So, option is B. 16th one, the sum of the first 10 terms of the series 13 by 5 whole square plus it is 1 and 3 by 5 whole square, 2, 2 by 5 whole square, 3, 1 by 5 whole square plus 4 square, 4, 4 by 5 whole square, etc. is 16 by 5 into m. Then what is the value of m? Manta? So, yelli, yalla mixed fractions koti yane, e mixed fractions anna, nimo convert mod kondre, nimige sulvu wage answer mod bodu. The first one is 1 and 3 by 4, that's 13 and be the day, 1 and 3 by 5, so 8 by 5 whole square. So, second one is 12 by 5 whole square, third one is 16 by 5 whole square, fourth one is 20 by, you may just rearrange that as 20 by 5 whole square, 24 by 5 whole square, etc. No day, you will like either some, either like a common factor in an idea, no day. 4 by 5 whole square common factor, a 4 by 5 whole square, what are you going 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square etc. up to 11 square barate. But nan ge 2 in the shurumadi 11 in the andre, al series in a sum of bariyadu salpa kasta. Adik nan en martine, I add 1 here and just there. So 11 into 12 into add 1 and subtract. Then it is 11 into 12 into 22 plus 1 by 6 minus 1. If I start, if I take 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square etc. up to 11 square minus 1. The first one is 11 into 12 into 22 plus 1 by 6 minus 1. So, if you simplify this one, you get 506 minus 1, 16 by 25 into 506 minus 1 or 16 by 25 into 505. Illi, a 16 and 25, only 5 and the cancel mark contra, you get it as 16 by 5 into also, it is 16 by 5 into 101 and 16 by 5 into 101. So, 
the answer is m is equal to 101. He has given 16 by 5 m andre m is 2 anta It is m is 101. So, illi a 2 anadu illa. 2 cancel maal konto ni mga ta 16 by 5 andre. So, next problem. <coughs> 1 to the power of 4, 1 over 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 4 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 4 etcetera to infinity is equal to pi to the power of 4 by 90. Then what is the sum of the odd uh, terms 1 over 1 to the power of 4, 1 over 3 to the power of 4 etcetera. Here we just uh, divide the given series into two parts, the odd part and the even part. Then we can easily get the sum. No day. First, in the first term, very odd terms, 1 over 1 to the power of 4, 1 over 3 to the power of 4, 1 over 5 to the power of 4, etc. to infinity. Even terms, 1 over 2 to the power of 4, 1 over 4 to the power of 4, etc. up to infinity, plus a kyadik bere bracket. So, he has given that it is pi to the power of 4 by 90. This is the first one. This is the common factor, 1 over 2 to the power of 4. You remove that 1 over 2 to the power of 4 outside, you remove that 1 over 2 to the power of 4 outside, you remove that 1 over 2 to the power of 4 अध फर्गटे बरत बिट्ट रहे, 1 over 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 4 etc. to infinity बरते, यरने ब्रेकेट टोलगडे, but he has given that 1 over 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 4, 1 over 3 to the power of 4 etc. up to infinity is pi to the power of 4 by 90, so substitute pi to the power of 4 by 90 there, so if you transfer that to the right hand side, so it is pi to the power of 4 by 90 minus 1 by 16 pi to the power of 4 by 90. So, on simplification, you get pi to the power of 4 90 into 1 minus 16. So, it is uh, into not plus pi to the power of 4 by 90 into 1, 1 over 1 minus 16, pi to the power of 4 by 90 into 15 by 16. So, on simplification, you will get the answer to be pi to the power of 4 by 96. So, if you just do it, the important thing is you must split the given series into two parts. So, the best answer is pi by 4 by 90, 96. 18th one, 150 workers were engaged to finish a piece of work in a certain number of days. Four workers dropped on the second day, four more workers dropped on the third day and so on. It takes eight more days to finish the work now. The number of days in which the work was completed is, he has given four options, 15, 20, 25 and 30. So, <coughs> We find that the answer is B. Let us see how we can obtain that 20. So, let us take, the, let them complete the work in N days. So, with this all 150 and 146, etc., let them complete this work in N days. So, 150 plus 146 plus 142, etc., to N terms, if we add, it must be the same as N minus 8 into 150 days because. They ought to have completed with 150 workers in n minus 8 days. They took n days to complete with this shortage. Where if all the 150 have worked for n days, uh, worked together, then they ought to have completed this in n minus 8 days. So, n minus n to the complete mode. Now, left hand side, one AP, 150, 146, etc. First term, 150, D is minus 4 and n is n itself, number of terms. So, so the now uh, sum to n terms formula n by 2 into 2 into 150 plus n minus 1 into minus 4 is equal to 150 n minus 1200. If you multiply by 2, you get 300 n minus 4 n square plus 4 n is equal to 300 n minus 2400. So, if you, you get a quadratic equation, n square minus n minus 600 anta is equal to 0 on barathe. And then factorize maadhi dhe n minus 25 into n plus 24 equals 0 barathe. So, that n is 25 or n is equal to 24. But uh, n cannot be negative. Therefore, n must be equal to 25. The correct answer is they take 25 days to complete the work. The answer is C and not B. So, you correct that answer is C, the option C. Let us discuss the geometric progression. That is all about the AP geometric progression. A sequence of non-zero numbers is called a geometric progression or GP if the ratio of any term and the term preceding to it is always a constant quantity. 
the general GP is always taken as A, R, R square, R cube, etc. Here A is called the first term and R is the common ratio. The n term of the GP is Tn is equal to A into R to the power of n minus 1. The sum of the first n terms of the GP is Sn is equal to A plus R plus R square, etc. R to the power of n minus 1, which is nothing but A into R to the power of n minus 1 over R minus 1. If R is greater than 1, on the other hand, if R is less than 1, you get R to the power of n minus 1 to be negative. Therefore, Sn we take A into 1 minus R to the power of n over 1 minus R if R is less than 1. If R is equal to 1, then it will be A plus A plus A etc. up to n terms. So, Sn is An if R is equal to 1. If mod R is less than 1, then the sum to infinity of the GP can be taken as S infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R because R to the power of n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. If each term of a GP is multiplied or divided by a fixed non-zero constant, then the resulting sequence is also a GP with the same common ratio. If A1, A2, An, etc., An minus 1, An are, G, are in GP, then the product of the first and the last term and the product of the second and the last but one term, all these products will be equal. That is A1 into An is equal to A2 into An, An minus 1 is equal to A3 into An minus 2, etc. So, if A1, A2, A3 are in GP, then log A1, log A2, log A3, are always in AP. So, as we have taken in AP, if, if three numbers in GP are taken, that must be taken as A by R, A, A, R, because on multiplying these two, you get A cube, R gets cancelled. So, four numbers in GP, we take as A by R cube, A by R, A, R, A, R cube. Here, the common ratio is, of course, R square. Let us try some problems on GP. The sum of the first eight terms of the GP, 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 54 is 6506, B 5650, C 6650, D 6560. So, we can use the formula to find out the sum to eight terms. 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 54 is 2 plus 2 into 3, 2 into 3 square, 2 into 3 cube, etc. This is a GP with A equals 2 and R equals 3. So, GP n term formula Sn is equal to A into R to the power of n minus 1 over R minus 1. So, 2 into 3 to the power of n minus 1 over 3 minus 1 that is 3 to the power of n minus 1. But I need the sum of the 8 terms. Therefore, put n is equal to 8 in the above formula. Sn is 3 to the power of n minus 1. So, S8 is 3 to the power of 8 minus 1 that is 6561 minus 1. So, 6560. So, it is a easy one, but only thing is you have to write the given series in a proper way so that you can easily write down the first term A and the common, dif common ratio R. Second problem, if the third term of a GP is 4, then the product of its first 5 terms is 4Q, 4 to the power of 4, 4 to the power of 5, none of these. So, here also you can take the GP as A, A, R, A, R square. R cube, R to the power of 4. Here the third term is 4, therefore R square is 4. The product of the first five terms, A into R into R square into R cube into R to the power of 4. So, it is nothing but A to the power of 5 into R to the power of 10. So, R square whole to the power of 5, that is equal to 4 to the power of 5, because you know that R square is 4. So, the option is C. In a GP consisting of positive terms, each term is equal to the sum of the next two terms. Then the common ratio of this GP is, he has given four options here. So, in order to find the common ratio of this, this GP, see sum of the next two, let us take the n term and then add it to the next two terms. Then let us add the next two terms and equate those two. See, here we obtain the option as D later on. If I take the GP as A, A, R square, A, A, R, A, R square, etc., A, R to the power of n minus 1, that is the n term, is equal to the n plus 1 and the n plus 2 terms, A, R to the power of n plus A, R to the power of n plus 1. If we had an equate mark, A cancel out the throat. So, R to the power of n minus 1 is R to the power of n plus R to the power of n plus 1. So, here also you can cancel R to the power of n minus 1. 
1 is equal to r plus r square. Transfer mark on re, r square plus r minus 1 is equal to 0 on the barate, other than quadratic equation no, only using the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, you can write r as minus 1 plus or minus root of 1 plus 4 by 2, that is minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 or half of root 5 minus 1. Here I delete that uh, minus 1 minus root 5 by 2 because he has given jp consists of positive terms in the problem, he has given there. Therefore, I take only this uh, minus 1 plus root 5 by 2, so the answer is half of root 5 minus 1. So, answer is the option D. So, reduce that to the quadratic form, then you can easily obtain the solution. It is not very difficult. The third term of a GP is the square of the first term. If the second term is 8, then the sixth term is. So, here also I take the GP as A, R, R square, etc. The third term is the square of the first term, equate those two. Notice A, R square is equal to a, R, a square barate, R square is equal to A, the second term is 8, therefore A R is equal to 8, so R square into R is equal to 8 because you know that R square is A, you can replace A by R square, R square into R is 8, that is R cube is equal to 2 cube, so R is equal to 2 and A is equal to 8 by 2 is equal to 4, therefore the sixth term is A R to the power of 5 is equal to 4 into 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 4 into 32 is equal to 128. So, the option is C. So, if you just use the data one by one, you take the G P as A A R A R square and use that A R square is equal to A square and also A R is equal to 8, then you get the value of this uh, A R to the power of 5. Fifth term of a G P is 2, then the product of its 9 terms is. So, here also we take the G P as A by R to the power of 4, A by R cube, A by R square, A by R, A, A R, A R square, A R cube, A R to the power of 4 because if you multiply all these terms, you get A to the power of 9. So, product of the above 9 times is A to the power of 9. He has given that the fifth term is 2, therefore A equals 2. So, A to the power of 9 becomes 2 to the power of 9, the product becomes 2 to the power of 9, which is nothing but 512. So, the option is B, 512. If the sum of an infinite GP be 9 and the sum of first two terms be 5, then the common ratio is A 1 by 3, B 3 by 2, C 3 by 4, D 2 by 3. So, here also I take the sum let A, A, R, A, R square be the G, P. I know that S infinity is A over 1 minus R, that is equal to 9. Sum of infinite G, P be 9 and the S infinity agathe. Other than A over 1 minus R is the formula for S infinity. So, equate it to 9, so that you get A is equal to 9 into 1 minus R. Sum of the first two terms and A plus A, R. So, that is equated to 5. A plus A, R is equal to 5. If you take A as a common factor, A into 1 plus R is equal to 5. Therefore, from 1, A badlo, you substitute that 9 into 1 minus R. So, 9 into 1 minus R into 1 plus R is equal to 5, 1 minus R square is equal to 5 by 9. So, R square is equal to 1 minus 5 by 9, that is 4 by 9. So, R must be 2 by 3. So, the option is D, R is equal to 2 by 3. The length of 3 unequal edges of a rectangular solid block or in a GP. If the volume of the block is 216 centimeter cube and the total surface area is 252 centimeters, then the length of the largest side is, you are given four options, A 12 centimeters, B 6 centimeters, C 12 centimeters, D 3 centimeters. Answer is A. Let us see how we get that option A. Let the length, breadth and height of the rectangular solid blocks be so, we must keep the length, breadth and height as A by R, A, A R respectively. Now, volume V is length into breadth into height that is A by R into A into A R that is equal to A cube. Since V is given to be 216 or 6 cube, A cube is 6 cube, 
therefore a is equal to 6. So let us think about the surface area, surface area of a rectangular box of course it is twice the length into breadth, twice the length into height, twice the breadth into height etc. Therefore it is 2 into a by r into a plus a into a r plus a r into a by r that is given to be 252. So 2 into a square by r plus a square r plus a square is equal to 252. Let us remove a square outside 2 a square into 1 by r plus r plus 1 is equal to 252. So 2 into 6 square is equal to into 1 plus r square plus r by r is 252. You get a quadratic equation 1 plus r square by r is equal to 21 by 6 into r multiply by 6. 6 into 6, 6 plus 6 r square plus 6 r is equal to 21 r. So on simplification you get 2 r square minus 5 r plus 2 equals 0. So if you factorize this one you get 2 r minus 1 into r minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore r is equal to half or r is equal to 2. So if you substitute these values in the length, breadth and height. So if you take r equals half you get a as 12 and length as 12, breadth as 6 and height as 3. On the other hand, if you take r is equal to 2, you get length as 3, breadth as 6 and height as 12. In any case, the length of the largest edge is 12. So the answer is 12. So let us go to the next question. So here, you have to use the formula for volume and you have to, you have to use the formula for the surface area of a rectangular box. If you use those two, you can easily obtain the option. Of course, it needs little working. If x2, y and 3z are in AP, where the distinct numbers x, y, z are in GP, then the common ratio of the GP is 3, a3, b1 by 3, c2, d1 half. Of course, here you have to use both the AP and GP concept. So, since the three numbers x2, y, 3z are in AP, whenever three numbers a, b, c are in AP, you know that 2b is equal to a plus c. So, 2y is equal to x plus 3z by 2, 2y is the middle number, 2y is x plus 3z by 2. So if you cross multiply, you get 4y is equal to x plus 3z. Since xy and z are in gp, you can write y by x is equal to z by y. Let us take this as r say. So then if you cross multiply, y is equal to r into x and z is equal to r into y. But uh, you know that uh, r is x y. So, you substitute there you get r is equal to z is equal to r y or r square x. Now, use the first result 4 y is equal to x plus 3 z. So, instead of y you substitute r x instead of z you substitute 3 r square x. So, I am converting everything into r and x. If you cancel x throughout yalla x no tegadu bittre 4 r is equal to 1 plus 3 r barathe. You transfer mark on the you find that uh, 3 r three r square barate, I am sorry, illi 3 r square barate. So, let us go to the eighth question. If x2, y, 3z are in AP, where the distinct numbers x, y, and z are in GP. Then the common ratio of the GP is A3, B1 by 3, C2, D half. Here we are taking the formula for both AP and GP. So, let us start with the eighth question. If X2, Y and 3Z are in AP, where the distinct numbers X, Y and Z are in GP, then the common ratio of the GP is four options you are having A3, B1 by 3, C2, D half. Here we are using the concept of both AP and GP. So if three numbers A, B and C are in AP, then we write uh, 2B is equal to A plus C. So here we write 2Y is equal to X plus 3Z by 2. So that 4Y is X plus 3Z. Since XY and Z are in GP, we may take Y by X is equal to Z by Y equals R say. So cross multiply Y is RX and Z is RY. So y is rx, therefore I can write z as r square into x. Now 4y is equal to x plus 3z from the equation 1, 4y is this one. So 4rx is equal to x plus 3r square x. Instead of y you substitute rx, instead of z you substitute r square x. Now cancelling x, 
you get 4 hours is equal to 1 plus 3 hour or 3 hours square minus 4 hours plus 1 equals 0. So if you factorize this one, you get R is equal to 1 by 3 or R is equal to 1. So the common ratio R is equal to 1 by 3. Since x, y, z are distinct, I cannot take R is equal to 1. R is equal to 1 is deleted because if R is equal to 1, then the three numbers x, y and z will be equal. So the best option is R is equal to 1 by 3. So B is the option. Ninth question, if the 4, 7, 10 terms of a GP be A, B, C, GP of A, B, C respectively, then the relation between A, B, C is, so B is equal to A plus C by 2, A square is equal to B, D, B, C, B square is equal to A, C, C square is equal to A. Here he has given the 4, 7 and 10 terms of a GP, the first term of the GP be A and the common ratio be R, since uh, you are already having one A there, I take the first term as capital A. So, T4 is E R cube, that is A, is equal to A. T7 is E R to the power of 6, that is B. T10, the 10th term is E R to the power of 9, that is equal to C. Here, he has given that A, B, C are in GP, therefore B by A is equal to C by B, therefore B square is equal to A, C. So, if you take the 4, 7th and 10th terms, you get B square is equal to A, C. So, in other words, you can do like this also. If you take 4, 7, 10, these three numbers are in A, P. Therefore, naturally, 4th, 7th and 10 terms of a GP, they will always be in GP. So, without uh, any calculation, you can straight away write that the numbers are B square is equal to AC, the option B square is equal to AC. So, next one, 10th one. So, let us go to the 10th question. If A, B, C are three unequal numbers so that A, B, C are in AP and B minus A, C minus B, A are in GP, then A is to B is to C is you have got four options, 1 is to 2 is to 3, 1 is to 3 is to 4, 2 is to 3 is to 4 and 1 is to 2 is to 4. So here we are using the concept of both uh, AP and GP. Since ABC are in AP, naturally you have B minus A is equal to C minus B and he has given that B minus A, C minus B, A are in GP. Therefore, C minus B whole square, that is B square is equal to AC, that is C minus B whole square is equal to B minus A into A. So from 1, B minus A whole square is B minus A into A because C minus B is replaced by B minus A whole, B minus A. So B minus A if you cancel 1 B minus A, you get B minus A is equal to A or B is equal to 2A. So from 1, 2A minus A is equal to C minus 2A because if you substitute B equals 2A in equation 1, then B is B minus A is equal to C minus B. So 2A minus A is equal to C minus 2A so that C is equal to 3A. So, A is to B is to C is 1 is to 2 is to 3. The option is A. If A, B, C are in A, P, then 7 to the power of A, 7 to the power of B, 7 to the power of C or in A, P, G, P, H, P, none of these. So, it is uh, very easy. You just uh, calculate 7 to the power of A over 7 to the power of B over 7 to the power of A. It is 7 to the power of B minus A. Since uh, A, B, C are in A, P, 7 to the power of B minus A is equal to 70 power of C minus B. So, it is 70 power of C over 70 power of B. So, 70 power of B over 70 power of A must be equal to 70 power of C over 70 power of B. So, that these three are in GP, 70 power of A, 70 power of B, 70 power of C are in GP. So, answer is option B. Log Y to the base X, log Z to the base X to the base Z, log Y to the base Z to the base Y or in GP, X cube, Y cube, Z cube or in AP, then the three options you are having, four options, X equals Y equals Z, X equals 2Y is equal to 3Z, 2X equals 3Y is equal to 4Z and none of these. So, since log Y to the base X, log X to the base Z, log Z to the base Y or in GP, you find that uh, log X to the base Z over log Y to the base X is equal to log Z to the base y over log x to the base z. Here, I apply the change of base formula. So, the change of base formula log m to the base n is equal to log m to the base e over log n to the base e. So, here of course, we have taken, let us take the common base so that I am not writing the common base there. Uh, let us uh, take it to the common base. I can write log x to the base z as log x by log z. I can write log y by log x as uh, log y to the base x as log y by log x. So, equate it to log z by log y, log x by log z. If you just uh, simplify that one, you get log x whole square 
over log y into log z is equal to log z whole square or log y into log x, which implies log x whole cube is equal to log z whole cube. So, log x whole cube is log z whole cube means x equal z. Since x cube, y cube, z cube are also given to be in AP, x cube plus z cube is 2 y cube, but you know that x is equal to z, so z cube plus z cube is equal to 2 y cube or 2 z cube is 2 y cube or z equals y, so that x equals y equals y. The option is A. So, you obtain x equals y equals z. Harmonic progression. So, a sequence of numbers is a HP if the reciprocals are in AP. The general HP is 1 by A, 1 by A plus D, 1 over A plus 2D, 1 over A plus N minus 1 into D. <coughs> Here you find that uh, A, A plus D, A plus 2D, etc., A plus N minus D are in N minus 1 into D are in AP. The general term is Tn is equal to 1 over A plus N minus 1 into D. The three numbers A, B, C are in HP, then 1 over A, 1 over B, 1 over C are in AP and B is equal to 2AC over A plus C. So, that is the relation between A, B and C. If they are 1 over A, 1 over B, 1 over C are in AP, therefore, B is equal to 2AC over A plus C. Let us uh, try some, uh, look into some problems on HP. If the sixth term of a HP is 1 by 61 and its 10th term is 1 over 105, then the first term of that HP is 1 over 1, 28, 1 by 39, 1 by 6, 1 by 7. So, if you take the terms uh, 1 by 61 and 1 by 105, the sixth term, sixth term of the corresponding AP. So, this is for HP. For the corresponding AP, it is 61 and the 10th term is 105. So, let A be the first term and D be the common difference of the AP. So, A is A plus 5D is 61 and A plus 9D is 105. If you subtract one by the other, A plus 9D minus A plus 5D is 105 minus 61 or 4D is equal to 44, so that D is 11. So, you know that A plus 5D is 61, so this gives A equals 6. Therefore, the first term of the HP must be, since first term of the AP is 6, the first term of the HP must be 1 by 6. So, the option is C. If A, B, C are in HP, then B plus A over B minus A plus B plus C over B minus C is equal to. Here, I simplify this uh, B plus A over B minus A and B plus C over B minus C. Then, I get B minus into B plus A, etc. So, you get uh, B square minus A plus C into B plus A C in the denominator. But uh, A, B, C are in HP. Therefore, B is 2 AC over A plus B or B into A plus C is 2 AC. <coughs> the important thing is you have to replace A plus C by into B by 2 AC here. So, if you replace that one, you get 2 into B square minus AC over B square minus AC, which is equal to 2. <coughs> Third one, if A, B, C be in A, P and mod A less than 1, mod B less than 1, mod C less than 1, then sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. A to the power of n, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity, B to the power of n, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity, C to the power of n or in A, P, J, P, H, P and none of these. So, here sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity, A to the power of n, I can call it as x. It is the infinite G, P <coughs> with common ratio A, therefore it is 1 over 1 minus A. Similarly, y is 1 over 1 minus B, z is 1 over 1 minus C. But you know that A, B, C are in A, P. Therefore, 1 minus A, 1 minus B, 1 minus C, they are also in A, P because adding or multiplying will not disturb the A, P. So, 1 over 1 minus A, 1 over 1 minus B, 1 over 1 minus C, if you take the reciprocals, they are in H, P. But these are nothing but X, Y, Z here. Therefore, X, Y and Z are in H, P. So, the answer is C, they are in H, P. If A, B, C are in A, P, then which of the following is not true? A, K by A, K by B, K by C are in H, P, A plus K, C, B plus K, C plus K or in A, P, 1 over A, 1 over B, 1 over C are in H, P, A square, B square are in A, P. So, here, since uh, A, B, C are in A, P, 1 over A, 1 over B, 1 over C are in H, P. So, if you multiply throughout by K, that will be again in H, P, therefore, A is true. If you take the second one, 1 over A, 1 over B, 1 over C are in HP, 
a plus k b plus k c plus k or in ap second one b is also true third one whenever a b c are in ap 1 over a 1 over b 1 over c are in ap that's also true so first more aglilla andre a b c aglilla andre d na answer time may waste madad beda you can easily write d as the answer but i have worked out that one you find that a is equal to which is not true therefore the option is d is not true so answer is d x y z are in ap then log 10 to the base 6 log 10 to the base y log 10 to the base z or in ap gp hp none nodi nanu synopsis nalli helidde x y z ap nalli iddagella log x to the base 10 log y to the base 10 log z to the base 10 they will be in ap so if you just take the reciprocal log x to the base 10 can be written as log 10 to the base 6 log 10 to the base y log 10 to the base z or in hp because 1 over log x to the base 10 is nothing but uh, log 10 to the base x. So, using that you can write the above one as log 10 to the base x, these will be in HP, one over that one, they will be in HP because their reciprocals are in AP. So, answer is C. Arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean. So, if you consider these uh, ABC are in AP, then B is called the arithmetic mean of A and C and B is equal to A plus C by 2. If A, B, C are in G, P, then B is called the geometric mean of A and C and B square is equal to A, C. If A, B, C are in H, P, then B is called the harmonic mean of A and C and B is equal to 2 A, C over A plus C. The arithmetic mean of A and B is A plus B by 2. The geometric mean of A and B is root A, B. The harmonic mean of A and B is 2 A, B over A plus B. If you consider the arithmetic mean of n numbers x1, x2, etc, xn, it is x1 plus x2 plus etc, xn over n. Similarly, geometric mean n root of x1 into x1, etc, xn and the harmonic mean n over 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2 plus 1 over xn and uh, the most important uh, result am is greater than or equal to gm greater than or equal to hm and g square is equal to ah. The rth arithmetic mean is given by this formula. The rth geometric mean is given by a into b by a whole to the power of r over n plus 1. The rth hm is given by n plus 1 over n plus 1 into 1 over a plus 1 over r into 1 by b minus 1 by a. So, let us try some problems on this arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean. First one, if a m and h m between two numbers are 27 and 12 respectively, then what is the geometric mean as asked. So, it is very easy, you know that g square is equal to a h, use that formula g square is equal to a h, here a is 27 and h is equal to 12, so g square is 18 square. So, g is equal to 18. So, answer is this option B. If a positive, if A is positive and also capital A G arithmetic mean and geometric means of the roots of a square minus a 2 a x plus a square is equal to 0 respectively, then what is the relationship between a and g as asked? So, let us, we find that the relation is a equals g. Let us work out this problem. So, let alpha and beta be the roots of the equation x square minus 2ax plus a square is equal to 0. Nimge quadratic equation kotaka sum of the roots a nunta kotide, sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to 2a, product andre minus b by a and product of the roots alpha beta is a square. So, capital A is equal to arithmetic mean in the alpha plus beta by 2 that is 2a by 2 is equal to a and capital G is the geometric mean that is root of alpha beta that is alpha beta is a square root of a square is equal to a therefore a equals g. So, the option is a. Arithmetico geometric series. So, let us discuss the arithmetico geometric series here the terms are a a plus d into r a plus 2 d into r square a plus 3 d into r cube. The first term a a plus d a plus 2 d a plus 3 d etcetera they are in a p. The 1 r r square r cube etcetera they are in g p. Therefore, it is called an arithmetico geometric series. The nth term of this uh, arithmetico geometric series is given by T n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d r to the power of n minus 1. The sum of the n terms is given by this formula S n is equal to a over 1 minus r plus d r into 1 minus r to the power of n minus 1 divided by 1 minus r whole square minus of a plus n minus 1 into d over 1 minus r into r to the power of n. However, the sum to infinity we will be using this formula. S infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r plus dr over 1 minus r whole square for mod r less than 1. So, let us use this 
in problems. The sum of the series 1 plus 2 s plus 3 s square plus 4 s square to infinity given that mod x less than 1 is, he has given 4 options. See, clearly you find that this is an arithmetical geometric series 1, 2, 3, 4, they are in AP and 1 x x square x cube, they are in GP. So, <coughs> S infinity formula is A over 1 minus R plus DR over 1 minus R whole square. You know that uh, R is x here, so 1 over 1 minus x and A is 1, so 1 over 1 minus x, 1 into x over 1 minus x square, DR over 1 minus R square means 1 into x over 1 minus x whole square. So, if you simplify that, you get, simplify this one, 1 over 1 minus x whole square. So, S infinity is 1 over 1 minus x whole square. So, answer is option B. Next question, the value of 2 to the power of 1 by 4, 4 to the power of 1 by 8, 8 to the power of 1 by 16, etc. to infinity is 1, 2, 3 by 2, 4. Here, 2 to the power of 1 by 4, 4 to the power of 1 by 8, etc. to infinity can be written as 2 to the power of 1 by 4 into 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 by 8, 8 to the power of 2 by 6, etc. Question number 2, the value of 2 to the power of 1 by 4, you know, comma be there, that into the mod come back. So, into mod here, etc. to infinity is, you know, as into mod come back. So, it is 2 to the power of 1 by plus, not a common, no, 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 by 8, 2 to the power of 1 by 4 plus 2 by 8 plus 3 by 16, etc. to infinity. So, 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 common, take it better, 1 by 4 into 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus etc. up to infinity. So, 1 into 1 plus 2 into half plus 3 into half square, etc. to infinity. So, this is a, an arithmetical geometric series. So, A is 1. See, this is arithmetical geometric series, A is 1 and R is half actually. So, if you substitute that in the S infinity formula, 1 over 1 minus half plus 1 into half, 1 minus half square, that is 2 plus 2. The first one, if you simplify, you get 2, this is also 2, 4. So, the given expression is 2 to the power of 1 by 4 into 4, that is equal to 2. So, the answer is 2, the second option. So, <coughs> So, here you take 2 powers always, all of them are 2 powers, okay. Method of differences. So, consider the series 1, 5, 12, 1 plus 5 plus 12 plus 22 plus 35, etc. Here the differences of consecutive terms are 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7, 22 minus 12 is equal to 10, etc. If you, if you look into these numbers, you know, difference in 4, 7, 10, etc. They are in AP. So, consider the series 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 15 plus 31. In on the example, if the AP is in GP, the difference in 3 minus 1 is 2. Similarly, 7 minus 3 is 4. 15 minus 7 is 8. 31 minus 15 is 16. 2, 4, 8, 16 or in GP. So, you difference get a GP in a little So, you thought that the problems when I have more because the 100 term of the series 3, 6, 11, 12, 11 plus 18, etc. is and the Kelly than So, now no, you 100 term again, Martini. First, I take this difference 6 minus 3 is 3, 11 minus 6 is 5, 18 minus 11 is equal to 7. So, these are in AP. Let us take SN as 3 plus 6 plus 11, etc. up to the n term. So, n term n on the nana gotila. I write it as Tn. So, Sn is 3 plus, I am sorry, shift modi. Ide Sn anna, shift modi. A 3 kelge, 3 bari bari. 6 kelge, 3 bari bari. 6 by 3, 6, 3 plus 6 plus 11, etc. Tn kelge, Tn minus 1 barate. Plus Tn dur dali rate. In you subtract modi there, 0 is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, etc. Plus Tn minus Tn minus 1 minus Tn. So, E3, the first 3, other 2 plus 1 and the bari. Write this 3 as 2 plus 1 because Nimia 1 and either Jote Tetkuna Kankulagate. 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5, etc. to n terms. Andre, sum of n odd terms, right, starting from 1, 
so you know that uh, it is n square. Salpa kelsa kadme agate, you can easily write T n is equal to 2 plus n square. I want T 100, n is 100 dake, it is 2 plus 100 square, that is 10,002. So, in this series, and note this particular example, that is 3 1 square plus 2 square plus 2, 6 2 square plus 2 square plus 2, 11 square you can write it as 3 square plus 2, 18 is 4 square plus 2. So, 100 term under 100 square plus 2 under you can write 10,002. The n term of the series 2 plus 6 plus 14 plus 20, 30, etc. Now, all here the n term under banda gilla, tumba yellow kasta par bade, tumba sulba. These options are naake. N is equal to one option naake. So, N is equal to options are na. How can that A, B, and D nali yar ban bade tham ge. More optional ban bade tham. Adrinda don't stop there. N is equal to two haake. N is equal to two substitute mar daga. A, B, and D nali. Here also B and D give six. These more options nali ni mahak daga. B and D nali ni mige six bade. N is equal to two haake dure. So n is equal to 3, the term is the second term is 6, b and d nal bantho. let us go for n equals 3, n equals 3 hag the more option nal, nal ko option nal le, a b and d nal matra hake saako ila kandare, b and d ide, agle a and c eliminate hake ide, b and d nal hake ide, d nal matra namige 14 barthe, the third term is 14, so when you put n is equal to 3 here, it is 2 into 2 cube minus 1, that is 2 into 8 minus 1, that is 14. So, option D is the correct answer. So, if you have a problem, you can see the problem. If you have a problem, you can see the problem. But, in terms of the end terms, you can substitute the end terms. If you have a problem, you can see the end terms. If you have a problem, you can see the end terms. If you have a problem, you can see the end terms. If you have a problem, you can see the end terms. Okay. The sum of the terms 1 plus 3 plus 7 the terms 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 15 etc to n terms. So, that is the problem. This problem is the problem. n is equal to 1, 4 options. n equals 2 b and d. We must get the value 1 plus 3 as 4. This is the same problem. This is the difference. This is the same term. This is the same term. This is the same term. n equals 1. So, options b and d give the value 1. n equals 2. Options b and d here. We must get the value 1 plus 3, 4. So, in option B, you get 2 cube minus 2 minus 2 and 4 barate. So, the sum is option B, 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus n minus 2. So, idro matra ni mo, n is equal to 2 hag daga, 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 minus 2, 4 barate. So, illu when you were an add mod, first and second term 4 barate, 1 plus 3 is also 4, therefore, the answer is B. Salpa, e problem gal mod vaga, na nedi nala substitute mod daga. One day, you can see the next value and substitute mode. Method of partial fractions. This partial fraction is 1 over a into a plus d, 1 over a plus d into a plus 2 d, etc. I can write it as 1 over d into a plus 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 E formula bar kondi dhini. E formula bar kondi dhani again advantage ayit ondre. I can cancel 1 over a plus d, 1 over a plus d, 1 over a plus 2d, etc. So, we will have a first and last term matra uli yathe. Alli LCM teeth kondre. So, I get a into a plus nd, a plus nd minus a, a and a cancel agathe. I get n over a plus nd. So, this is the formula for Sn. Sn is this one. If I want S infinity, then if you remove n, you get 1 over AD. So, this is the formula for S infinity, you know, come across partial fractions. If you have formula and if you have to solve the problem, this problem is not going to be done. 1 over 6 into 11, 11 to 6, etc. What is 6 SN? So, the given series is SN is equal to this one. I apply the formula SN is N over A into A plus ND. I have to say that this formula is equal to this one. N over A and the node E term 6. So, you will have a difference 5. So, the common difference of this 6 and 11 is 5. So, A is 6 and D is 5. So, I can write SN is equal to N over 6 into 6 plus 5N. I want 6 SN. So, cross multiply 6 SN is N over 6 plus 5N. So, answer is 
n over 6 plus 5 n answer c sum to infinity of the series 1 over 1 into 6 1 over 6 into 11 1 over 11 adhe tara illi sum kelidane sum to infinity kelidane sum to infinity keladaga baala sulva 1 over a into d a formula haki so 1 over a into d a is 1 and d is 5 so difference of these two so 1 into 5 1 by 5 so answer is option a sulva adu 1 over 18 thak butta sari the sum of the series 1 over 2 into 3 into 2, 1 over 3 into 4 into 2 square etc. This is how calculate the amount of the amount of the amount of the amount. That is, once again, n terms and the kele dinda, you substitute n equals 1 in the 4 options, you find it in the option b, you get 2 to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 2 minus 1 gives 2 square by 3 minus 1, that is 1 by 3. So, 1 over 2 into 3 into 2 is also 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 is this option b is correct answer because you get 1 by 3 in this one when n is equal to 1 you get 1 by 3 here and 1 by 3 here also so option b is the correct answer so other problems n and the one the other one so let us go to the exponential and logarithmic series the exponential series nally e to power of x ke formula jnap ko itko meko tumma kade upyog ek barat nemi gaya e to power of x is 1 plus x over factorial x square of factorial etc adhetar e to power of minus 6 idre 1 minus x over factorial 1, x square over factorial 2, etc. to infinity, e to the power of x plus e to the power of minus x is there, 2 into this one, add these two, you get 2 into this one, e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x is there, it barate. So, x is equal to 1 hak butre, e is equal to 1 plus 1 over factorial 1, 1 over factorial 3, etc. barate, e to the power of minus 1, x equals minus 1 hak butre, e formula barate. Adhe thara log e gerat formula hai de, log 1 plus x is equal to, x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 etc to infinity for mod x less than 1 and log 1 minus x idre a minus of one the one but two well of all terms plus here at the x plus x square by 2 x cube by 3 etc up to infinity so sum to infinity the series and the other problem on koti dhane ega e problem kota ga e problem in other terms so namge a e to in a e to power of minus one ali the kind of side a other in the e to the power of minus 1 n agathe in the nodana. So, e to the power of minus 1 andre 1 minus 1 over factorial, 1 over 2 factorial, 1 over 3 factorial, 1 over 4 factorial etc. But, illi en maadhi dhane 1 over 2 factorial in maathra sur maadhi dhane ekendre 1 minus 1 factorial is 0, cancel agu dhate. So, you can write 1 over 2 factorial etc. as e to the power of minus 1. So, the option is e to the power of minus 1. Avera to cancel agadhar in the you can write e to the power of minus 1 as the option. The value of 1 minus log 2 plus log 2 whole square by factorial 2 minus log 2 whole cube over factorial 3 is. See here, you replace that log 2 by x, 1 minus x over factorial 1, x square over factorial 2 minus x cube over factorial 3, etc., where x is equal to log 2. But uh, 1 minus x over factorial 1, etc., is nothing but this is the expansion of e to the power of minus x. So, substitute back the value of x e to the power of minus log 2 that is 2 to the power of minus 1 which is half. So, option is c half. The sum of the series log 2 to the base 4, log 2 to the base 8, log 2 to the base 16 etc. is see here I change the base of all terms I you know that uh, log a to the base b is equal to 1 over log b to the base a. So, I write the first term as 1 over log 4 to the base 2, the second term as 1 over log 8 to the base 2, third term as log 1 over log 16 to the base 2 etc. But log 4 to the base 2 is log 2 square to the base 2 which can be written as 2 log 2. This is log 2 cube to the base 2 which can be written as 3 log 2. This is log 16 that is log 2 to the power of 4 to the base 2, 4 log 2 to the base 2. But log a to the base a is always 1. So, log 2 to the base 2 is 1 log 2 to the base 2 is 1, log 2 to the base 2 is 1, you can write this series as half minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 etc. So, if you add and subtract 1, I can write this as 1 minus 1 minus half plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 etc. and 1 minus log 2 to the base e because this is the formula, for, this formula gives log 2. So, one there I do, 
examples bitto gittu if x is positive and real then the numbers 1 over 1 plus root x 1 over 1 minus x 1 over 1 minus root x or in ap gp hp none of these so if you consider these three numbers if you put x equals 4 x equals 1 hakidre yerinindu 0 bandibidutte adrinda x equals 1 avoid madana if i put x equals 4 then the numbers are 1 over 1 plus 2, 1 over 1 minus 4, 1 over 1 minus 2 or 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 which are in AP with D equals minus 2 by 3. Therefore, the answer is AP. AP is the answer. So, answer A. So, the last question, the minimum value of 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x where x belongs to R is 2, 4, 1, 0. So, here we use the AM is greater than or equal to GM. So, 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x by 2 that is the arithmetic mean of 4 to the power of x and 4 to the power of 1 minus x. So, that is greater than or equal to arithmetic mean or geometric mean root of 4 to the power of x into 4 to the power of 1 minus x. So, 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x is greater than or equal to 2 into root of 4. So, here x and 1 minus x give you 4 there. So, root of 4 is 2. So, 2 into 2 4. So, 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x is greater than or equal to 4. Therefore, the minimum value should be 4. Answer is 4. The CET coaching on uh, sequences and series. Maklai nanu tomo samarashta problems anna. Vere vere method nal nimge hel kutti dini. Idan na detail agin nansa thirundi samanywa ki CET parikshan alli. Yerad prashne galo is series and sequences mele irutte ondrinda eradu prashne aa prashne galanu chana maadi nan yen ige torisidini illi adanna detail aga on sölpa nodkondre shortcut methods annu sölpa nodkondre nimge sulbagathe ant ankondidini ee program annu arrange madidanta department of pre university education avarige nam karnataka government ige nanu abhinandane galanu salustene nevu 